Okay guys, so to start off with, I am using this color as my background color. Now you can just change the colors according to your liking. You don't really have to stick to the colors that I'm using. That is the reason why I am not giving you guys any color code or any sort of palette for this tutorial because this is just going to be a simple landscape tutorial for beginners who just started or who are actually getting started with digital art especially in iris paint and this is a really great way to practice is to kind of create really simple landscapes so that you can just get used to the software you can get used to working with a tablet and a pen if you are somebody who was into traditional art and now switching to digital art this is a good way to practice so that's what i actually am doing here i'm using felt tip pen hard this is the brush that i'm using right now and as you guys can see i just created this ground kind of figure over that background and it's so simple you guys you just have to create a shape and then fill the color in with the bucket tool and sometimes the bucket tool might not work not work as in when you do not close the whole shape then you can just go ahead and use the brush itself to fill the whole shape in and here i'm creating this road kind of thing just above that ground figure and making sure that i have enabled elf lock to the layer which is on the layers panel only and it's not difficult to find right at the bottom so yeah as you guys can see i i did not fill it in with the bucket tool because then it actually colored the whole ground because we are creating this on the ground layer where we created the ground yes, and that is the reason why i'm actually filling this shape up with the brush itself and here i'm creating these little grass kind of thing which is not really grass it's just like some lines and also you guys this is not my design at all i'm I'm just going to give the real credit to the real artist of this landscape. I was just looking at the reference and I actually created the exact same. Yeah, but colors might differ a little bit, but I just actually created the exact same. So I should give the credits to the real artist. And the reason why I chose to use a reference to create a simple landscape is just because I just wanted to show you guys how easy it is to create a really simple landscape over Ibis Paint. So the key here is to actually create each and every shape. Um, in a different layer so that you know uh, you are not messing up the whole landscape all right so when you are just getting started with digital art and you're starting to get used to this new tablet thing or maybe your pen then I'd highly recommend you know finding out some really good and simple looking references now it doesn't have to be always a landscape it can be anything as long as it's really simple to create with simple shapes and find something like that and start creating use those as reference and start creating with these simple shapes so uh, that's how I actually practiced when I was uh, getting started with digital art so as you guys can see I'm just creating different shapes and I'm filling those up and I'm also making sure I'm doing these in different different layers all right that is the key here because we don't want to mess it all up you can do it in one layer if you want to if you're so confident but if you're just getting started with it I would not recommend and I would highly recommend getting used to layers also so this video is specifically for beginners and the reason why I chose Ibis Paint is because it's free and it's close to Procreate even though the ads keep popping up I know a lot of people said in down in the comment section below that just you know uh, keep your tablet on a flight mode on flight mode and the ads won't appear I never tried that because uh, my Wi-Fi is turned on 24 into 7 and I never put my tablet on flight mode I always forget to turn on the flight mode when I'm drawing on Ibis Paint so yeah but yeah it's like Ibis Paint is so close to procreate and that is the reason why I chose Ibis Paint now as you guys can see uh, I created these black lines over this heart kind of thing and I did that by making sure that I have enabled elf lock similarly I'm also creating these window kind of thing on these huts these yellow window just to represent that you know there is some sort of light inside that hut and that is actually looking super duper cute so yeah there's nothing really to explain honestly you just have to you can either go ahead and create a similar landscape as I am creating right here 
and just follow the steps and I have not fast forward this clip to the max because I want you guys to follow this tutorial if you want to because it's so simple. And the reason why I'm not explaining each and every step it's because it's just so simple and self-explanatory and yeah. So yeah, I'm just going to stop talking now and I will let you guys um, watch this tutorial and follow this tutorial. There is nothing much to explain. I am just creating this really simple looking landscape and just keep following this tutorial if you want to. And if it was fast, then let me know down in the comment section below. I'll make sure to create slow ones in the future. But yeah, other than that, it's like a really simple landscape. Um, building it layer by layer so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did give this video a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel follow me on Instagram and yeah I keep posting uh, ibis paint tutorials a lot these days so yeah just stay tuned if you are a ibis paint user and as you guys just saw I just added this light and it looks so cute right now uh, and yeah, I mean, there's nothing else to explain, so I better go and I'll let you enjoy the rest of the video.